Not long ago, a rather brave but mischievous mouse discovered a world I had created for forgotten tombs. The mouse faced many challenges and choices, but in the end, he saved Wasteland from total destruction with the help of a new friend, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. With Oswald by his side, good triumphed over evil, and a family was reunited. That was only the beginning. As the Forgotten Tombs rebuilt their home, trouble lurked just around the corner. and Gus headed back to the castle to reach out to the one tomb who could truly help them in their time of need. For many days and many nights, Gus constructed a device that would put the fate of Wasteland back into the hands of a certain brave mouse. Curious intruder once again entered my workshop. 
with one goal in mind, to find and retrieve my magic brush. Suddenly, the cosmos spread before him, a plane of imagination fueled by brush, paint, and thinner. With the brush in hand, Mickey saw that the very stars were waiting to come alive. They needed only paint to dance once more. Finding himself at home, Mickey should have felt safe. Looking at the brush, he wondered if Thinner could help him find the truth behind his unease. Armed with the magic brush, what would Mickey do? Would he paint the world or thin it to nothingness? The choice was his. Glad to see you guys! What's going on? You're just in the nick of time, Mickey! Wasteland is becoming inert again, and with all the damage from the quake. Not only that, but the Mad Doctor is back! He is? And then where's Oswald? Uh, right here. No! <sighs> you had me so worried! Sorry, I didn't mean to, but I've been talking to the Doc. He came to warn us that we're being attacked by evil creatures. He said they're part block, part animatronic, and all bad. He is up to something. I just know it. Come on, Hortensia. Doesn't everybody deserve a second chance? Um, how about we try to get to the bottom of this? Where is the Mad Doctor? He's helping with repairs on Mean Street, but the Quakes really did a number on the projectors, so we'll have to use the train. <sighs> well, if you really insist on talking to the Mad Dog... Ooh. Hurry! Let's go before the whole castle falls down!
Oswald, double jump to glide across that gap. The castle's falling down! We have to go! Hurry up, you slow pokes! Hortensia! Do you think she made it? Come on, we need to go around and look for her. By Jove! I bet you two can get out of here by using that balcony. Mickey, go over to Oswald and lob him up so he can do a bit of scouting. Oh my! Well, that was convenient. Hop up there and let's get going. Hmm, it looks like both gears need to be spun in order to open the door. I'm all over it. This place is falling apart! Look there, Oswald. The machine holding your... If we're ever going to get your remote, we're going to have to get the machine working again. I'll just use my arm to take care of this. Now you'll see what I can really do, Mickey. Look! What are we waiting for? Don't you want to find Hortensia? Ah, a generic pin. There's a pin trader in Mean Street North who loves to get on either side of the turnstile, grab onto the handle, and walk forward to start turning it. That should move the lift up to the lab. If we're ever going to get out of here, you'll have to use your remote to get these machines working again. Try shocking the switch that's connected to the machine, and let's see if we can get it running. Oswald, you need to hit both electrodes on the machine at the same time. This won't do. The charge isn't going anywhere. You'll have to redirect the current to get this thing operating again. I'm all over it. Great work. By diverting the electricity up to the door, you were able to open a path to the courtyard. And look, the platform's on that machine in the center of the room. They've lowered as well. Friendly, fire paint at an enemy, or thinner to thin them out. You can also use your spin attack to knock them silly. Hey guards, this place won't last much longer. Let's use that rubble to make our way to the train station. I'm pretty sure this gap is too wide for jumping. Once Oswald jumps in the air, he can glide across. And Mickey, if you jump and grab onto his feet, both of you can travel to the other side together. Ah, a bit of cloth, eh? We should take this to the haberdasher and see what he can do with it. Huh? What is that creature? Is it a black works? Oswald, try using your remote electricity to stun that monstrosity. Once it's distracted, jump on the button on its head and see if you can get the plotling out of the cockpit. Station. Let's go. Uh, there you are. Come on, we need to get out of here. Hortensia, how did you get here? Well, <laughs> you're not the only one who has adventures. <laughs> Isn't she the best? Oh, 
A minute, you two. If Oswald were to shock those fireworks, they'd ignite, correct? So, if we move them next to those rocks and lit them off, then just maybe... First order of business is to get the projectors working again. Last I heard, Jamface was in Mean Street North. He'll know what to do. Oh, you boys go ahead. I'll wait here until the Oztown projector starts working. But you be careful. I just know that mad doctor is up to something. Oh, good luck, honey bunny. Oswald? Do you really believe the Mad Doctor is good now? I sure hope so, Mickey. I really do. Gosh, Gus. I, I didn't think Mean Street would be this... broken. Well, it's gotten worse since the main quake. All the aftershocks have caused the thinner to come up, and the buildings to crumble even more. Gremlin Jamface would be overseeing repairs on the north side of Mean Street, and the underground is the only way over there. We found the entrance to the underground. Shall we enter the underground? Mickey. Not only does it spit thinner, but it'll pick you up if you get too close. Once Oswald jumps in the air, he can glide across. And Mickey, if you jump and grab onto his feet, but maybe you two could glide across together. Let's head over and see what we can do for you. And we should keep our eyes out for others on our travels. 
Would you like to go to Mean Street North? Mickey, it's good to see you again. Wait. You would not be here if Westland is not in peril. Actually, we're here to fix the projectors. Do you know what happened to them? Shh! Come closer. One would think the quake destroyed them. Yes? But the main projector substation in Rainbow Caverns went down before the quake. Wait. It is a strange thing, is it not? I do not know why. The substation is in Rainbow Caverns, one of the first attractions built in Wasteland. We, oui. To reach it, you need to take the DAL Engineering Corridors. We call them the DEC. If we take them over to Oztown and ask Prescott, he'll know how bad things are, and how to get to the caverns. Well, if you are determined to talk to that Prescott, you can access the Mint Street DEC through the construction site on the right side of the street. However, the way is closed because of the quake. Of course, there is another way down through the windmill, but it is in need of repair. I will be by the statue if you wish to help. Adieu. We should speak with Jamf. Do be careful, Mickey. I believe this building is rather unstable. All that thinning has collapsed the wall. Don't say I didn't warn you, Mickey. Well, at least that cleared the tunnel. Mickey, the DEC entrance is on the floor right over there. Do you wish to enter the DEC? the charging stations, shall we enter the elevator to Oztown? Rainbow Caverns fast. Is the DEC still working? Not exactly. It's down in that thinner sinkhole. Jamface gave Goofy some thinner pumps, but they'll take far too long. Naturally, I told Goofy how to upgrade them.
Coffee, what happened? Well, I was trying to fix these pumps, just like Prescott told me. Don't know what I did, though, because they all went kablooey. I told him to overcharge one pump, not three. Yes, it makes the pump slightly unstable, but it also gets the job done faster. Gorge, well, they look more than slightly dangerous to me. Well, I think I'll just go ahead and use the pumps how Jamface told me. And hey, you fellers can help me get those pumps back. I got a fairy sketch around here somewhere you could use. Fairy sketch? Ah, the fairy sketch. Just think happy thoughts. That's my motto. Use a fairy sketch on a large object or even an enemy to make them float. You can then hit it with paint or electricity to send it spinning. Ah. But be careful. Thinner will cancel the effect. Use the cycle sketch button to choose the fairy sketch and the car sketch button to use it. Like all sketches, once you find one, you can use it whenever you wish. Fine, but if you'd like to do things quickly, come talk to me. Hmm. Be careful! Just go and connect it on the last pipe, and then we can start draining the thinner. Don't listen to that! Yeah, I know how to do this. All you gotta do is use the fairy sketch to make the pump float like a feather. Then just aim your paint or electricity at it and watch it move. it down and connect it up to that pipe right there. Don't worry about it. wonder where they'll end up. Perhaps we can search for them when more of the thinner has been pumped out. That's an access port. A lot of machines in Wasteland use them now for easy access to their programming. In fact, I can modify Oswald's remote so he can reprogram these machines. There we go. To begin, Oswald needs only to fire electricity at the access point. Do this? You did it! Great work, Oswald! Do you want to enter the DEC to Rainbow Falls?
do this? This elevator will take us up to Rainbow Falls, shall we? Look here, that's an inkwell. The invisible ink is slippery, so if you move too fast, or double jump, it will slide right off. Indelible ink would certainly help us get past those falls. The ink is as hard as a lobster's shell. Even thinner will slide off. Do be careful, however. The shell breaks apart as you move. If you're hit too many times, the shell will break apart. But at least it will give you time to catch your breath. Projector substation. You see those falls? They power the machine. Head to the over. It looks like the funnels that draw power from the falls aren't operating. See if you can use this device to get them running again. I'm all over it. Hey, what you doing up there? We could ask you the same question. Small Pete. Me? Well, see, I was working in here before the quake hit, and then the projectors went down. I've been trying to get them fixed ever since. Once they're fixed, I could finally get out of here. So I'm sitting here trying to fix the machine, and you go and turn it on. Now, thanks to you guys, there's all sorts of problems. See those pipes? They all need to be taken care of. So get to it! See that pipe in the middle of the room? Push it into the coupling already! Pipe's running nice and smooth. Gotta tell you, I was shocked. Considering you was the one who fixed it. <laughs> what? Okay, that's the ticket. <laughs> Maybe you two could be helpful after all. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> The pipe behind the fan needs to be shut off, so figure out a way to get back there. You hear that? Whatever you did out there, the substation sure don't like it. I can stabilize it. Oh, yep. That pipe's running smooth as butter now. 
Seder Palace. The machine is ready, so let's get it going. Get on over to the center and start her up. <laughs> I'm on your frequency. There's wonderful news coming now. Hurry to my lab in the gulch and I'll tell you. Wait. What is that sound? Oh, it sounds like he's in trouble. How do we get to his lab from here? Well, that there projector should take you to Rainbow Caverns. From there, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump over to the gulch. Thanks, small Pete. Come on, fellas. Let's go. Sure. Don't worry about nothing here. You heroes just leave the cleanup for us regular twos. <laughs> Hold on! You've probably noticed that the projectors have been upgraded since your last visit. Spin the gear to determine how you want to travel through the film inside the projector. The signs will show which path you wish to travel. The paths hold different hidden treasures, so choose wisely. This projector leads to the angel side of Rainbow Caverns. Shall we? This projector leads to the angel side of Rainbow Caverns. Shall we? The dev- hmm. In order to reach the other side, it looks like both you and Oswald will have to work together. Beneath those statues live the Seven Sisters, spirits who watch over the citizens of Wasteland. Maybe they can help us reach the other side. Shall we visit Disney Gulch? Visit Disney Gulch. Gosh, what is this place? Well, after you beat the blot, the thinner seas went away and left all this junk behind. You see it falling out of the sky every now and then. Some of it we can use, but most of it just sits here forgotten. Okay. But what's that? Oswald, me 
Luigi, come to my lab. You can use the train to get here. But remember that the train won't run without the battery spheres. Please hurry! This guardian pool is in a thinner state. I wonder if that's what's keeping the saloon door closed. Maybe the doors will open if you paint in the front. Remember, the more objects you paint, the more paint guardians you can acquire. The more objects you thin, the more a thinner guardian will be attracted to you. This is one of those battery spheres the mad doctor spoke of. We should bring it over to the receptacle by the train. We could leave, but there is room for more spheres. We might want to retrieve the others. The Mad Doctor obviously created them for a reason. Head to the train engine when you're ready to leave. That sphere is in position. Shall we hunt the last one down as well? Head to the train engine when you're ready to leave. Do you want to... Are you ready to leave? Brilliant. The bridge is working again. What a marvelous piece of technology. If we had more spheres, we could restore power to the rest of the bridge. to the projector, to the mad doctor's lab. 
This place. Mad Doc doesn't do anything small, does he? No, I guess he doesn't. So where is he anyway? Ooh. Hey, what's happening? Oh, look out!
I was fixing the substation, I found these jammed into the projector pipes. <laughs> they were chewing them up pretty good, too. A gag from the gag factory? What's the big deal? Well, somebody shoved them there on purpose. And that means the projectors was sabotaging. <gasps> Sabotage. Oswald, what's wrong? I'm trying to figure out who sabotaged the projectors. But they're all my friends, and good tunes, too. Oh, this isn't working. I'm no detective. You think I should ask Horace for help? Say, isn't Prescott in charge of the gag factory? Yes, but Prescott loves working on the projectors. He'd never destroy them on purpose. Actually, I checked in on him just a few moments ago, but couldn't find him. Come to think of it, Jamface mentioned that Prescott has some projects over in Blot Alley. To get there, we'll need to talk to Ghost Ian first. He's the self-appointed caretaker of Blot Alley and the spatters that live there. 
Lot Alley's part of Bog Easy. So we can head to Mean Street North and take that projector. Come on, let's go scare up a ghost. If we head over to Mean Street North again, we'll find the projector to Bog Easy. Shall we enter the underground? Street North? We have a thief in Westland. The vault door you destroyed gave him ample opportunity to steal our scrap metal. Because of this, we must charge 50% more for the supplies. Five supply containers were taken, but for every one you bring back to me, I will lower our prices by... 's-y huh Whew. this place looks different from how I remember it hello my prince I have bad news my beetle works have been hacked someone turned them against us my friends watch your backs Could it be Prescott? We need to find him and get to the truth. Clue what happened? I be here. Minding me. Now, dearie, I be safe again. 
which be good in hurry, please, and help him. Oh, be it safe? Oh, they be friendly again? Well then, I guess it do be safe. These beetle works are crazy. Can I have some help over here? I was just minding my own business after the quake, and then all of a sudden, bam! It was crazy. Beetle works everywhere. Look at all of them. Let's deal with that beetle works replicator quickly. Oh dear. It's the old boathouse. I know that I wouldn't be too happy if you left me to those beetle works. Come on over. Hey look, there's Ian. He's going through that wall. It must lead to Blot Alley. But how on earth do we pass through? Oh dear, it's another Beetleworks replicate. We need to get through that wall. Wait a minute. The Beetleworks can help us. We just need to reprogram them. Or we could try and destroy the wall. Search the area and see what you can find. Shall we head into the gloom? We could leave, but those beetle works will continue to cause havoc. Shouldn't we do something? Kaput, the spatters flooded Mean Street, and we didn't know where else to put them, so we brought them here. Hey there, boss man! Oh man, I love that gag. Boy, those spinners were something back there, huh? Never trust the beetle wakes. That's my motto. Welcome to Blood Alley. Ian, we gotta talk. Of course, of course, but we can talk while we walk. Let me show you around. Oh yeah, we don't see many tunes around these days. Most have a problem with getting chewed on, if you can believe that. Anyways, I've been working with the spatters to make them friendlier, but it's slow going. 
Okay, he's gone. I thought you said you taught him to be nice. Yeah, they're nice to everyone but you. It's what I was afraid of, boss. Those guys, they really don't like you. You know, the whole plot thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, we'd go if we could, but we're looking for Prescott. Prescott? I saw him heading towards Club 13. Don't know why, though. <laughs> If you ain't on the list, you can't get past Petronic. Oh, if you're going to Club 13, I'd really appreciate it if you didn't bother the Spatters. In fact, you do that for me, and I just might have a little something for you. Don't worry, I'll be watching. Not that I don't trust you, but well, actually, I don't trust you. <laughs> <sighs> Ghosts. See those bells? If that spatter spots us, he'll ring one of them. And, well, nothing good can come of that. Make sure you deal with him before he decides to chime your arrival. didn't mention anything about painting in the blotlings, and we are making them friendly. <laughs> Keep up the good work. You did the right thing, Nikki. <laughs> Show, Mickey! What a marvelous contraption! Shock the gate, and the key will rotate in the correct direction. Then drag the key over to the gate, and voila! See those sprudouches, Mickey? If you wake them up, they'll explode. So try to use food in the approach. You did the right thing, Mickey. Well now, Ian should be happy. I don't think that's such a good idea. Ian should be happy. <laughs> what is that? Jolly good 
show, Mickey! Oh, what are you doing? Come on, fellas. I can't let you through unless you're both standing in front of me. Yes, sir. Hurry it up. I ain't got all day. You know, boss, I tried being nice to you. I tried talking and asking, and still, you caused all this trouble. We're done here, pal. And if we cross paths again, you better hope I'm in a better mood. Aha! Club 13. Shall we announce ourselves by ringing the doorbell? Well, look what we got here. Pete Trotic? Last time I saw you, you were constructing beetle works for the Mad Doctor. Yeah, well, Big Bad Pete asked me to help out with the club. They need energy since the quake broke the generator, see? So, here I am. Say, maybe you can help us out too. We're looking for Prescott. No way Prescott made it into the club, not on my watch. He just kept going round back to the train tunnel entrance. I tried talking to him once, and he mentioned some egghead projects over in the old float yard. Anyways, if you take the train tunnels to the old ford in the gulch, that should take you to the float yard's entrance. You'll have to find the entrance on your own, though, because Ian was the only fella who knew about it. And I heard you ain't on his holiday list no more. Of <laughs> course, all that stuff's in the gulch. Right now, you ain't getting the train tunnel doors open without my help. So, will you help us? Well, okay. I'm bored to tears since I took up this post anyhow. I'll head inside and meet you around back. From there, I'll charge up the generator for the door. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna need some scrap metal to fix the generator. I'm not sure how much, though. Why don't you bring me what you got, and we'll see if it's enough. Look at all this! Now we're cooking! Tumbling torpedoes, what are those things? Are they the blood works the Mad Doc was babbling on about? Oh man, those things are all kinds of ugly. And look at that, they're heading right for us. I don't think they want you to leave, Mickey. Distract him while I get this open. A dream. Now that's teamwork. You actually ain't that bad. Not like Big Bad Pete's always saying. So, how's about helping me deal with the rest of them blot works before you go? Do that, and I'll have something for you. Petronic's safe back there. We gotta find Prescott. Come on. <laughs> That's the ticket! You beat them at their own game! Now I can get back to doing what I was doing without them causing a big old ruckus. <laughs> I got a reward for you! Come and get it! You took care of them! Good job, Pally! And I got that reward for you, too! <laughs> Looks like I got me enough scrap metal to fix this thing up after all! Now get out of here! Prescott ain't gonna sit around all day! The way is open to the train tunnels, shall we?
the projector? It seems the train tunnels were damaged in the quake. I hope the dioramas are still traversable. You know, oh, Mickey, these depict your greatest battles during your last visit to Wasteland. <laughs> Gee, where are we? It's the entrance to the train dioramas. Prescott built it after the thinner receded to celebrate your victories against the evil minions of the blot. Oh, welcome, fr fr friends. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I'm the automatic br branch engineer, or or Abe. Uh, sort of an. Uh, so, so, sorry, I, I, I can't. Oh. Looks like the quake did considerable damage to the dioramas, and now the whole system's unstable. We can either repair or take the damaged areas of each diorama offline. It would be nice to see these running again, wouldn't it? Let's go see what Prescott was doing down here. Oh, I can feel the place improving by the minute. Good job, fellas. I'm pretty sure that's not how the arms should be moving. Oh, now that's the ticket. The power levels are doing just fine. These tubes are used as high-speed transportation around dioramas. It appears this one will remain locked until we wrap up here. It looks like the electricity powering the arms is it. Oh, hey, you fixed the clock tower, fellas! Uh, let me open that transport tube for you. Boy, am I glad you came by. I'm feeling better already. The door to the next diorama is opening. Thanks a lot, fellas. Say, you know what? I have some footage here that you just might want to check out. I think it'll help. Hmm, look at that. There are markings on a wall in the back right corner of the room. We should check it out. Well, what do you know? I'm, I'm feeling better already. <laughs> hmm, well, mostly better, anyway. Uh, if, if you're looking for Prescott, he came by here a while ago, uh, looking for parts. Not sure why, though. The next diorama is based on the Mad Doctor battle. Uh, there's still a lot of damage, so I'd be grateful if you could fix it up for me. Come on, let's do this thing. Look up there in the rafters. I wonder if you could fix anything from that vantage point. Oh, yes, siree. Hey, that's better. Look up there in the rafters. 
I wonder if you could fix anything from that part. the exit and the security system. Whoa, now! Well, that's two tons of ugly right there! Uh, I need to lock down the transport tube so, so, so he doesn't get into the other dioramas! on. Yeah, that's more like it. Well, gee, I, I found this old footage while I was searching through my database. There are more storage areas in the next diorama. I wonder what Prescott is using them for. We need to be on the lookout for a way into those rooms. Would you look at that? Why, why I feel like a million bucks. Oh, oh, but say, the, the, the blot diorama still needs some repairs. You best be careful in there. Okay, fellas? has really sprung out of place. is holding pretty steady at 50%. Don't let it drop too much, though. The flying blot looks like it's stuck. What's keeping the flying blot from moving? Wait for me! Oh, you're 
you're doing a, a bang up job, fellas. Let me switch it over to the dark beauty. When you first faced the plot, you used the towers to launch fireworks at it, correct? Mickey, these look like the fireworks control towers you used to defeat the plot the last time you were in Wasteland. It appears you need to line them up again. Me. It looks like the fireworks on the towers have shifted out of position. Try lining them up again. Face the blot, you use the towers to launch fireworks at it, correct? Well, that's just swell. I'm feeling better already. And look, you can head on out now, too. Well done. Shall we move on? Oh, now that's the ticket! <laughs> oh, feeling just like my old self again. Now, if you need anything, just ask. Can you tell us what Prescott was doing down here? You know, uh, Prescott created me back in the day. Anyway, I suppose he must have been building something big and important because, well, he came and grabbed a bunch of parts. When I asked him, uh, he said, Trust me, Abe, it's for the greater good. I'm going to a place where I'll be appreciated. Soon they'll all remember the name Prescott. And, uh, well, that's all I know. Oh, say, there is something else I can do for you, though. I, I have a reward over there. If you want it, come on by anytime. Because I'll be here, good as new. Thanks a lot, fellas, and good luck. like to enter the projector to Fort Wasteland? Enter the projector to Fort Wasteland. I told you two to stay away from the Spatis. What do those poor little guys ever do to you? Oh, have you forgotten the damage they did in Ventureland already? That a blight on Wasteland. Besides that, no one has seen this fort in years! It's a historical treasure! Exactly. 
an archaeological site that belongs to all tombs. So what? They found it first? Stay out of the fort! I made it! Be a way into the fort. Resourceful blocklings could be. Do you suppose they had help? You think you're so tough? Hmm. You'd think there'd be some spatters around here. Thanks again for... I was trying to find... They threw me... Take the... You know, there are multiple ways into the fort. You might try one with fewer tool-eating monsters. Hey, I know. Follow me. Now, this is an odd little item. It's... Hey, wait up, Mickey. Hmm. 
You'd think there'd be some spatters around here. Ah, yes. It looks like it will take both of you to get this contraption running. Once it's activated, we should be able to head to the float yard. Egads, that's not good. Someone must have tampered with the machine. Rendered all the little guys, boss. I was hoping you would. And, as a reward, I got an exit for you to the float yard. This should help you find Prescott. Hey, and all the little guys say thanks. Even Dolores the slob. Why, she'd give you an ice cream cone if she had one. Say, they even wanted you to have this costume. I don't know why. Don't suppose it would fit you. Flower costume. Let's take it back to Clarabelle. I believe this projector goes to the float yard. I wonder what Prescott is doing there. Isn't the snooping duo? And is that Gus with you as well? Oh, this is just perfect. My talents were wasted in the gag factory. Wasted by you, Gus. But now, here, among these discarded relics, my genius can finally be seen by the world.
We have to hurry, Mickey, before Prescott gets away again. Oh, what has Prescott done to the float yard? This is mine. I can't hold these open forever, Mickey. these contraptions. How long has Prescott been working here? I'm impressed, but you're too late. <laughs> Follow me, but only if you dare. <laughs> some of these old float pieces moving again. <laughs>
Do you want to enter the projector to press Scott's arena? You know, Abe told me you were coming. I didn't think you could make it through my defenses, but here you are. Prescott, stop these games this instant. Why did you sabotage the projectors? Why? I can do whatever I want, that's why. My brilliance was wasted at the gag factory. You wouldn't even listen to my plan to upgrade the projectors. With the brush, no one will ever look down their noses at me again. Behold, my greatest creation. <laughs> Mickey, you need to fill the turret with. There's a force field below us. Looks like a nasty one too. Quick, knock back the cannonball. Don't worry about it. Look, it's reloading. We can get close. Yeah, I know how to... I'll distract it, and you fill up its tanks. This one's mine. Well done, Otto. The contents of the tanks are affecting that giant machine above us. Interesting. My word. Look at those tanks on the... There's a force field below us. Looks like a nasty one, too. This... I'll distract it, and you fill up its tanks. I'll distract it, and you fill up its tanks. Oswald, you can reprogram the turret from the side. One more time, and that thing is toast. My word. Look at those tanks on the machine's back. There's a force field below us. Looks like a nasty one, too. Quick, knock back the cannonball. Yeah, I know how to do this. I'll distract it, and you fill up its tanks. It's reloading! We can get close! Mickey, if you fill up the tanks, we can end this charade! This is mine! Look! It's reloading! We can get all distracted, and you fill up its tanks! to fill the turret with paint or thinner! I'll distract it, and you fill up its tanks. I'm all over it. Look! It's reloading! We can get close! I'll distract it, and you fill up its tanks. It's reloading! We can get close! This one's mine! My word! Look at those tanks on the machine's backside! This is mine! Oswald, once those tanks are full, reprogram them! <laughs> 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 
Oswald, you can reprogram the turret from the side. I'll distract it, and you fill up its tanks. and you won't ruin it for me. And as for you, you big pile of bolts, remember who your master is. Ha! This is my creation, not your toy. And now he'll prove it. Attack! <laughs> Quickly, thin out the monster's armor and finish this. His armor is made of tune! That's his weakness, Mickey! Quickly! Thin out the monster's armor and finish this! His armor is made of tune! That's his weakness, Mickey! Aha! Fire the cannons, ye blooming cockroaches! <laughs> monster's armor and finish this. His armor is made of tune. That's his weakness, Mickey. Ah, button down the hatches, matey. Quickly, thin out the monster's armor and finish this. His armor is made of tune. That's his weakness, Mickey. There's nothing to power, Mickey. You gotta paint in the gears. I recognize these gears. That did the trick. The projectile damaged the panel. I'm all over it. Yeah, I'll send you back to Mean Street in a paint can. Machinery under these panels. We've got to break through. This is mine. I recognize these gears. Paint them in, and those big doors should close. That did the trick. The projectile damaged the panels. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to power, Mickey. You gotta paint in the gears. Ah! Quickly! Thin out the monster's armor and finish this. His armor is made of tune. That's his weakness, Mickey. You hear? <laughs> that did the trick. The projectile damaged the panel. Yeah, I know how to do this. There's nothing to power, Mickey. You gotta paint in the gears. Ah, button down the hatches, matey. <laughs> Quickly! 
Quickly! Thin out the monster's armor and finish this! Quickly! Thin out the monster's armor and finish this! His armor is made of toon! That's his weakness, Mickey! An umbrella won't help you here! <laughs> I recognize these gears. Paint them in, and those big doors should close. Huh? What's happening? What did you do? My masterpiece! Ah! No! <laughs> Scott, I never wanted this to happen. I don't understand. He told me no one could defeat me. He told you? Who are you talking about? Daisy Duck here. We're following the Mad Doctor, who's on the trail of the notorious gremlin Prescott. Maybe now we'll find out Prescott's plans, as well as what the Mad Doctor was recently doing in Ventureland. Prescott, dear Prescott, you shall not be forgotten. I'll tell you a story of how it all went rotten. What happened to you, Gremlin? How did you meet this day? Why did you turn your back on Wasteland? Why did it end this way? I will tell you, all must understand it. All the things that went so wrong, it was I who planned it. Unfortunate tune, your message I will send. Rest a little speed. On Prescott. Welcome to the wonderful world of the human. <laughs> this portion of the show is brought to you by. <laughs> Did you hear about the new attraction, the Mad Docs building? He said it'll boost morale. Oh, I wish I would have thought of that. Oswald, we have other worries besides the Mad Doctor. While you two were crossing through the underground, I took the time to search through the gag factory. I wanted to know why Prescott turned out so... so bad. Digging through the gag factory, I found these blueprints. Prescott helped oversee a construction site in Ventureland. He said he was helping the Spatters build homes. But if you look here, you'll see that it was actually a cover-up for something secret. Okay, that doesn't sound good. 
Maybe it'll tell us why Prescott broke the projectors. The Mad Doctor did say there were secrets to uncover, so let's go see if he's right. We may have put an end to Prescott's scheming, but that doesn't mean... First time's free. Shall we be off? Let's head into the wilds of Ventureland. What do you say? Network. I'm here with our lucky leader Oswald as well as the heroic Mickey Mouse. So my friends, what brings you to Ventureland? We're investigating the construction site. You see, Mickey and me are... But the Mad Doctor already closed the site down because of the alleged danger. He had no right to do that. When did he start making decisions around here? Well, you've been off adventuring while he's been helping repair Wasteland. Don't you think we Toons have noticed your absence? Your being our leader and all? Goodness, Daisy. Lighten up on that chap, won't you? I'm just doing my job. You understand, right, Oswald? So the Mad Doctor closed down the construction site? He said it was too dangerous, and he put Pete Pan in charge, too. Just in case anyone got it in her stylish head to try to find out the truth. So, Oswald, how would you respond to all the pro-mad doctor tunes? <sighs> okay, that's a wrap. We'll see what we can do in post. I don't know why he's so upset. I just wanted to get his side of the story. He feels like he's being forgotten once again. I'm sure we can help him if we find out what's behind Prescott's schemes. The construction site is full of secrets. But I don't want to talk about it here. There are ears everywhere, you know. Stop by my house and I'll give you the scoop. Gus, are you sure he'll be all right? Ah, oh, he's tough. He'll work through it. <sighs> Be careful! Prescott. We've always known him as the grumpy caretaker of the gag factory. But in the last few days, we've come to know him as something else entirely. I'm hoping to get an exclusive on this gremlin's plans from none other than the courageous Mickey Mouse. So, stay tuned to the Duck News Network. Oh, I'm so glad you fellas stopped by. The Mad Doctor closed the construction site. And, well, I smell a story. 
But I can't get back there because Mr. Smee removed a gear from the lift when he thought no one was looking. So I'm thinking, if we gather up Hook's old clothes, the pirates gathered up his old things, but some of their chests might have thinned out in the quake. Happy hunting! I wonder why Smee broke the lift. Perhaps we should ask him. Ah, Mr. Smee, did you take the gear from the lift? Why, yes, of course I did. I had to show the mad doctor that I was the best choice to be his first mate. <laughs> you see, he closed down the construction site that nasty piss got built, but then he put Pete Pan in charge instead of me. I'd go to the site myself to investigate, but you see, I'm scared of those spatters. Starkey says they're dangerous. But if you go up there under my command, you could investigate the danger for me, like you were my lookouts. Oh, Tiki Sam will let you use his basement tunnel, for a fee, of course. <laughs> Just tell him I sent you. Welcome to Tiki Sam's. We're offering a special today. Two of my heads for one of yours. <laughs> that one never gets old. You talk to Smee, huh? Yes, sir. I can let you into the secret tunnel if you have the tickets to pay for it. So, you want to enter the Jungle Cruise for a huge amount of e-tickets? If it ain't that do-goodin' mouse and his rabbit pal. Well, this here's pretty far out of town for sightseeing. Too bad you came all this way for nothing. The mad doctor don't want nobody in here, and he hired me to keep him out. Work's a little scarce since Captain Hook disappeared. So a fella's gotta do what he's got to do. Know what I mean? So scram, runts. <laughs> well, uh... <clears throat> Unless you want to talk about how much it's worth to you. Oh, 
I'm sure we can find a way to sneak past Pete, or find some other way to the site. Indelible ink would certainly help us get past those halls. Again, Ghost Ian will be quite pleased to hear about this. Hmm, what's that mysterious door all about? Think we can get it open? Where it goes. Shall we see? survive. Oh, this used to be my favorite place to visit. And now look at it. But how could this be? No one's been here since the Thinner disaster. Well, it looks like somebody's been here. Oh, there's Guardian stuck over there. Why would anybody trap him like that? Come on, we need to release him. It's more than that. I think those things are pumping the Guardians out of the ground. I don't like the look of that. What is it? Some kind of security device? If it is, we could try taking out those panels on the side. Or maybe we can plug up those vents. Right. Let's go see what this place is. Look at these old parts. I say, maybe we can use them to plug up those vents. these old parts. I say, maybe we can use them to plug up the, that pressure plate exposed an access port. Quickly now, Oswald. The Guardian Siphon is, how do you say, kaput. And look at that! The explosion... Yeah! <laughs> 
Pipeworks should be the way forward, but you two will have to work together to activate them. Another one of those guardian pump things. Let's take care of it, Mickey. That pressure plate exposed an access port. Quickly now, Oswald. Nicely done, Mickey! Pressure plate exposed an access port. Quickly now, Oswald.
Well, guess that's the last of them. Let's get back to the control tower. Wait, there's a cave. Could be a shortcut. Another of those pipeworks, eh? Working together should allow us to figure it out. Okay! The machine's down! Time to get those guardians out! The Guardians are free, and they're restoring everything! Hey, look up there! It's a projector inside the tower! Autopia oh, is still here? I can't believe it! I used to come here and watch the races every week. I wonder if the old cars still run. This leads to the Mad Doctor's old attic? How odd. Well, show it. Welcome, boys and girls, to the wonderful world of evil. Today I have a tragic tale for you. You know I fell into the gulch, then plan to take revenge on Wasteland. Yes, take revenge! That's what I plan to do. Again with that entire matter. My tomb parts were interfering with my animatronics. That's bad right from the start. I needed a way to become a tune again because I was falling apart. After the break, there's lots of fun in store. We'll talk about my plans to be a tune again and more. On the Remember, this goes to the Mad Doctor's old attic. Shall we head there? Is the Mad Doctor's old attic. But why is it connected to Autotopia? My goodness, it's Gremlin Jamface. He's trapped in there. My friends, I need your help. The control mechanisms for this cage are tied to those Beetleworks weapons. But be careful! Destroying the replicators might damage the control machines beyond all hope. Oh, there must be another way to shut them down. I 
wonder what they were being used for. to disable the last replicator. I am free. We shouldn't talk here. Meet me by the vault door and we shall see what secrets are to be uncovered. the missing gremlins when I found a passage into Autotopia and then to this place. I was about to open this door when a beetle work snuck up from behind and stuffed me in that snow globe. I think that big vault door holds the key to all of this mystery. One can hope, yes? So let us see. There we go! Oh, and I discovered this while I was looking around. Yeah, you might need it. Now, go find out what is happening to our beloved wasteland. Would you like to enter the projector? Testing, testing. Dear Diary, it's the Mad Doctor. Wonderfully evil me. I fooled Prescott into turning on his friends while he built me my TV. <laughs> now I broadcast my show to the cartoon world. Will they forget me never? Oh yes, I'll be remembered. And I can leave Wasteland forever. I know the Guardians can make me a tool again. I played Mickey and Oswald for fools. But even I couldn't know that the earthquakes would strike when they sucked up the Guardian pools. And that wasn't even a part of my plan. A plan that's evil as can be. It won't be long till Wasteland will be destroyed. And very soon, I'll be a tool. Dear Diary, who is the maddest mad doctor of all? Wonderfully evil. Believe the dog lied to me. Look here. This projector's set for the Mad Doctor's new attraction on Mean Street. <sighs> Come on, let's go see if the doctor is in. Oh no! Whoa! 
one more step, and your friends are... History. My ride will pull the Guardians out of Wasteland. Then everyone and everything will become inert. Your ridiculous friends included. Ah. And when I enter the cartoon world, I'll use the brush to become the greatest villain of all time! And you will help me. Give me the brush, and I'll set your friends and your precious guardians free. Refuse, and watch them turn inert, and I will destroy Wasteland! hit this monster the whole time. Wait until the eye opens, Mickey, and then spray it. Shock the hand, Oswald. That'll stun it. Oh, pesky mouse! Stand still while I crush you! How about the shock to you, no? Don't let it grab you! But how do we free him? Don't know, but you have defeated my claw, but that was only the beginning. I will find what lies beyond this petty little world. Those masks must be tied into the control mechanism. Something must be done about those masks. Out 
Gentlemen, let's take out those masks! Functioning. Yeah, I know how to do this. Woohoo! I did it! And it released the Guardians, too! The thinner is rising! Hurry! Hurry, chaps! We need to jump onto those pistons! attack and he is toast when I have the brush I will rule the cartoon world get a Mickey attack the mass <laughs>
their choices, the brave mouse and the lucky rabbit prevailed against the machinations of the mad doctor. Mickey and Oswald did not know what challenges may lay ahead, but they were comforted by the knowledge that together they could conquer anything. Look at them all, so happy! They ain't never gonna know what hit them. <laughs> 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 